In North Carolina, since 1999, 13 students have lost their lives while crossing the road getting on or off the school bus. And we've had more injuries than that. We have years of data to show us that cars are not always going to stop when the school bus is stopped for loading and unloading students with the red lights flashing and the stop arm extended. So there's three things we go after to try to fix that problem. Right. One is education. The education is trying to implore the motoring public to pay attention and realize the seriousness of being careful around a school bus stop. There's also education to students and parents as well as school bus drivers. Another part of that is enforcement. We have cameras on some of the buses now. Law enforcement is more attuned than ever to prosecuting stop arm violations. Motorists that pass through a stop school bus, it's $500 fine, five points on your driver's license. But the other part of that is the engineering, making sure that the bus does everything it needs to do. We've had strobing lights on the bus for a long time now. We've had bright LED red lights. So the bus can be seen, but there's additional engineering now that's going in place for the passenger stop process. And we're empowering the bus driver through this process to make sure that they have the tools to stop traffic first, extend the stop sign with the red lights flashing before giving any indication to students that it's okay to cross the street. So they activate the red lights, that stops traffic, and then once the driver has seen that traffic is stopped and everybody's doing what they're supposed to do, then that driver can open the door, extend the crossing arm, and students will know it's time to board the bus. So to the bus driver, the first part of the passenger stop process hasn't changed at all. So when approaching a bus stop, the driver is still going to activate the amber lights, just like normal, nothing has changed. And then in approaching the bus stop, she comes to a complete stop and activates the red lights and the stop sign. That's with the intermediate step on the switch, just taking it halfway. So the red lights and the stop sign communicate to cars that they must stop. It is not yet time for students to board the bus. This is empowering the driver so that once she looks out and sees that the traffic has stopped and the coast is clear, then she's going to hit the third position of the switch, opening the door and extending the crossing control arm, and then students will know it's time for them to get on the bus. The red lights and the stop sign those are communicating to the motoring public that they have to stop. That's no longer communicating to the students that it's safe to cross. The students are keying off of the crossing control arm and the door. Once the door opens and the crossing control arm comes out, that's when the students need to think about crossing after looking both ways.